Oh, thank you, Larry here. We need your help with that proof that is supposed to help the entire world. Wait, you don't know what is happening? You haven't heard about that zombie apocalypse that takes over the world of numbers? Okay, let me quickly introduce you. On the Halloween night, one noticed some strange movement on the cemetery of negative numbers. The ground was shaking and it surely wasn't an earthquake. All of a sudden, numbers started coming out of the ground and the chaos formed. Zombie numbers started to chase the alive ones. Panicked positive numbers asked mathematicians for help. And I could not say no to that. After a few hours of investigation, I've collected some observations. First of all, apparently there are only a few zombies, which was kinda strange since there are infinitely many negative numbers. Second of all, only some special numbers like minus 2 or minus 29 were turned into zombies, but for example, minus 1 wasn't. This led me to finding a rule behind which numbers turn into zombies and it goes like this. Take a negative number, add all of its digits with the minus sign attached to the first digit, then square the result and add it to the original number. If the result of this operation is positive, then the number rises from the dead and becomes a zombie. Now we only need to prove that there can only be finitely many zombie numbers and the world will be basically saved. I've just finished a number theory course on this website called Brilliant, which turns out to be a sponsor of this video, more about it in the end. And I have some ideas, but if you want to try it for yourself, go ahead. Now let us get into my solution. But before we save the world, let me make a quick history note. This definition of zombie numbers I presented you with is not something I created for the purpose of this video. These numbers actually exist. It's a very fresh thing, because they were introduced in 2019 by Andrew Tufil in response to Ed Southall's Halloween tweet. They even have their own OEIS page and that's how I found out they existed at all. Interestingly, through this page we can find that there are only 26 of zombie numbers and there is no explanation of this fact whatsoever. We need to come up with our own proof. How horrible and exciting at the same time. We are facing a problem of proving that there are only finitely many numbers of some kind, in this case the zombie kind, which definition is now visible on the screen. It might not be clear how we can do it, because it's not a very standard problem one faces in number theory. Nonetheless, there is one ingenious method that is commonly used to prove the finiteness of the set of some type of numbers, especially when those numbers are defined with some type of digit sum function, as in the zombie case. For example, it is used to prove that there are only four factorials, which are the numbers equal to the sum of factorials of their digits. I've covered the proof of a very similar fact in this video, so if you're curious, go check it out. Ok, now let me show you how the method goes. Suppose that n is negative and consists of digits d1 to dk. Also let z of n be the function that sums the digits of n, while assigning the minus sign to the first digit and then squares the result. We can define it like this. Therefore, we can say that n is a zombie number if and only if z of n plus n is a positive number, or equivalently, if the following inequality is satisfied. The method I want to showcase is based on an idea that z of n, for sufficiently big numbers, won't be large enough to satisfy this inequality. Formally speaking, we'll be looking for two boundaries, an upper bound for z of n and a lower bound for minus n. Since z of n is a function that depends on the value of digits of n, there is a big chance that the upper bound of z of n will grow much slower than the lower bound of minus n. 
Therefore, for big enough numbers, the inequality between boundaries will not be satisfied, so the zombie numbers will not be able to form. That's the idea, but will we achieve our goal? Let's see. The first boundary is simple. Since minus n is a k-digit positive number, we know it must be greater than or equal to 10 to the power of k minus 1. Ok, one thing checked. The second boundary will be a bit harder to find. Let us take a close look at z of n. We want to bound it from above, so let's try to find its greatest value. First of all, notice that if we maximize the expression inside the bracket, we will also maximize z of n, because this square doesn't change anything, at least for the case when n has at least two digits. Now, it is easy to see that minus d1 plus dot 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 plus dk is the greatest when all of the digits d2 up to dk are 9s and minus d1 is equal to minus 1. Since n has exactly k digits, we have that z of n is smaller than or equal to 9 times k minus 1 minus 1 squared, which is equal to 9k minus 10 squared. We are almost there. We have all of the ingredients, so it's just a matter of putting them together. Assume that n is a zombie number. Therefore, the following trail of inequalities holds. By looking at the extreme ends of this trail, we can see that 9k minus 10 squared must be greater than 10 to the power of k minus 1. Since k to the power of k minus 1 grows exponentially, which is faster than the polynomial growth of 9k minus 10 to the power of 2, we know that for sufficiently large k's, this inequality cannot be true. Hence, there are only finitely many zombie numbers. We can check manually that the smallest k for which the inequality doesn't hold is k equals 4. Therefore, there are at most 1000 zombie numbers. In fact, as you've seen earlier, there are much much less than 8000 zombie numbers because there are exactly 26. That's probably because of a very restrictive definition of zombie numbers. Thankfully, the world of numbers has some hope now. Thanks to you, for the most part. If you found this video interesting and want to come up with proofs like the one in this video, you should definitely check out Brilliant, the sponsor of this video. Brilliant is a website with a ton of courses on number theory, but also on mathematics and STEM in general. They allow you to interactively play with math concepts, which greatly improves your problem-solving skills, and it teaches you how to learn effectively. I personally love Brilliant for how it approaches math visually, but also for how it makes math simply fun to learn for anyone, independently of their skill level. For example, here's a course in number theory that teaches you modular arithmetic through colors and patterns. Simply beautiful, but also eye-opening. If you want to check them out, you can visit brilliant.org slash maffinity, where you will get a free premium subscription to Brilliant for 30 days. Brilliant is also offering a 20% discount for the annual premium subscription for the 200 first subscribers, which will sign up through brilliant.org slash maffinity. I'll also put that link in the description. Thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video and thank you for watching.